right, we're going to the Ivy League here for our last game, and we're going to see a tie game. Ball's out of bounds, and there are 4.5 seconds remaining in the basketball game. So what we, what we have here is the visitors to Columbia has to have the ball out of bounds, and they're going to come up. Now, when you are 4.5 seconds ago, you know that the ball's going to be raced to the front court. They have an opportunity at 4.5 to get a really good shot. So, But the ball's going to be raced to the front court, which means trail, center, you have to go hard. Get to a place where you're in a perfect position to make a decision on the play. There's some things that can happen here. And obviously, the end of game score or no score is what we should do. Now, we know, members, that 90% of you work with no monitor. So you have got to get the place to get the information. So now we see on this one, as the offensive player loads up, the zeros come up, and the crew counts it, but then they go over and, and they correct this via monitor. Now, just talk about a potential scenario here. Let's say in a case, let's say you're working a two-person game, say the trail calls the play good, and you're in the lead, and you look at the play, and you clearly, without a question, obviously, see that the ball remains in the shooter's hand, and the zeros come up, the horn goes off. You know it's not good. This is your time to come forward and say, use these words, I will take full responsibility for this play. The ball was still in the shooter's hand. The goal does not count. It's all about getting the play right, and that is the ultimate in team officiating right there. Okay. So I know you guys can chew on a lot of this stuff and, and use it as your pregame and have a great week of games and we'll talk to you next week.